PDP hits judges as tribunal throws out Atiku's petition. Personally, I don't see any difference in APC and P, uh, PDP. So Nigerians should just hope for the best. You don't see any difference? No, they, I've always said that, that they're the same. They, 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 the two political parties have held this country bondage for 20 years. Hmm. Interesting. Ify, what are your thoughts uh, on today's paper? Uh, PDP? It all or... has a point. Uh, I mean, in terms of um, how, what they have delivered to us as a nation, they, in some ways they have been lacking. But I feel like uh, in terms of partisan politics, there are definitely differences between the two. I mean, he has a point when he says that uh, certain similarities, are, and we know that uh, at the point where they were uh, having the, the campaign, the campaign rollouts, that are at least uh, a fourth of the uh, APC uh, candidates moved camp to uh, PDP. PDP, exactly. But also, you know, moving forward, we know that it is in our best interest to look at the separation of powers and the balance, checks and balances of this country, even though it's not always been a perfect system, to adhere to the judgment, move forward, think of a plan to um, take us to the next um, term. That way we can actually sort of like regroup and make sure that we are planning for the future of our development of Nigeria. Hmm. All right. Um, there's a picture story. I mean, I, I did the news and it was quite emotional uh, seeing the returnees uh, sing the national anthem and full of, you can, f the joy is palpable, you know, to be back home. But what are your thoughts? This 107, 187 uh, returnees are back so I made a trip to South Africa very recently, mm -hmm. and in the last couple of weeks, it's very clear that our system has failed the uh, Nigerian uh, nationals in South Africa especially. You know, our doors were closed to them, and we can only thank uh, private individuals like uh, the MD of, yeah, Air Peace, Mr. Mm. Alan Onyema, who, ha who has stepped in doing his civic duty and has pledged to bring the returnees back. And we know that at least for, for a country where uh, there was so much promise, 600 signed up to return to Nigeria. At that point, you know that this is their last hmm. ditch attempt at setting, putting their life together and making sure that their families are safe and secure. I really agree to say, yes, um, it was a good step uh, for Onyema. I don't know yeah. what you think uh, to have offered to bring these people back no, in collaboration, uh, of course, with the federal government. Yeah, it, it was a good, um, a good gesture. project, good mm -hmm. gesture by the government and then the minister and then uh, um, Air Peace. Yes, and 640 Nigerians signed up to come in, but we've had um, 187 of them back in Nigeria. Mm. And then the flight was delayed for 15 hours yeah. and over hundreds were held back by the South African government because they came up with some profiling at the airport. No, they were profiling them at the airport, okay. which I personally feel that was wrong. They should have done the profiling prior to them getting, to the getting on board and mm. coming back home. But having said that, we have them back. I was reading the story and I saw him, uh, one of the returnees said he's left his wife and daughter back mm. in South Africa. Very pathetic. He's, he left Nigeria in 2007. He's lived in South Africa for about 12 years, started a family, married to another African, not Nigerian. Now he's back home because his mother wants him back home. So where does he go from there? Mm. 